Hello, my name is John, and let's take a trip down memory lane and talk about a classic tour block of TV, and it was called The Disney Afternoon. This aired from 1990 to 1997. There were four half-hour episodes in this tour block produced by Disney, and I remember walk, coming home from school and, and being excited, turning on the TV, and watching The Disney Afternoon. The whole intro theme is Disney Afternoon. The whole thing was super, super exciting for me. I remember, I have a lot of fond memories about it, so I wanted to share those memories with you guys and talk a little bit about each show. A lot of these shows by Disney actually were initially on ABC and, or for Saturday morning, uh, and they came out before 1990. For example, Gummy Bears actually started in 1985, lasted six seasons, and that was initially on ABC uh, Saturday morning, as I just mentioned. But they also uh, took the last season and put it into the Disney Afternoon time frame block. Uh, that was a great series. I really am very fond of gummy bears. They had the gummy berry juice and they would make them jump and bounce. And it, there were these bears, they would interact with humans. And it was actually based, loosely based off of uh, the candies, actually, interestingly enough. And then they also had, in 1987, a few years later, uh, DuckTales came out. And DuckTales is probably one of the more, most famous uh, cartoons for Disney. In fact, IGN. I ranked it out of 100 top cartoons. It was number 18. Uh, fantastic series. Only ran for uh, three seasons, which is interesting. A lot of these shows have anywhere from 30 episodes to no more than 100 episodes. And they would run them and, and syndicate them, play them over and over again. Uh, Chip and Dales, a lot of us are familiar with Chip and Dales based on Chip and Dale. I'm not talking about the male strippers. I'm talking about the cartoon. Uh, but that was another great series. It only lasted 65 episodes. Only one season. And that's really hard for me to believe when I saw that or you know, realize that because I used to watch this thing, every, the show every day. And it was so great about these shows was not only were these these TV shows on, on the TV, but you'd actually Capcom released a whole bunch of classic NES games. Uh, later on, these, these shows would be released for games for the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, even TurboGrafx-16 had a Dark Green Duck a game for it as well. So a whole bunch of different platforms. The Marvel released a comic book series based on Dark Green Duck and later on on other uh, shows as well. So not only could you experience it through, through TV, you experienced it through books, through, through, uh, through video games, and, and for a while in 1991, uh, Disney had a thing at Disneyland called the Disney Afternoon Avenue. And this was actually where Mickey's Toontown is now, and it was a couple years before that, and you could go in there and there was a whole bunch of, there was a Disney Afternoon Parade. I mean, it was a big deal for Disney. Uh, the fourth show on Disney, Disney Afternoon that was on the first season was Tailspin, and this show was loosely based on characters from uh, the movie, movie The Jungle Book. You got Baloo, you got King Louie, and it, there are these pilots, and it was a really cool season a show as well. There's only a couple seasons for it. Uh, some other episodes that were released in, in future seasons for Disney Afternoon, you had Bonkers, which was uh, is a, kind of a, he's a bobcat, Bonker the Bobcat, he is part of the FBI. And that show was actually based on, loosely based on, well initially it was supposed to be Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And, and Disney wanted to do a Who Framed Roger Rabbit syndication TV cartoon show series, but with licensing and it was difficult because they had Disney characters, they had Warner Brothers characters, they had other you know, different uh, production companies that made that movie, so it was a nightmare. So they decided to make Bonkers. So Bonkers, uh, doesn't, that show doesn't really have any, any live action like uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit would have. But that was kind of a whole idea, so they spun off Bonkers that way. Another classic show I liked was called Darkwing Duck. I mentioned the video game for the TurboGrafx-16 earlier. There was one also released off for the NES on, by Capcom. And that show was actually a spin-off of DuckTales. Uh, so that was a really cool show, and he was like the superhero. Uh, his name was Drake uh, Mallard, was his actual name in the show. And, and uh, he was a superhero, was Darkwing Duck. Uh, you also had uh, Launchpad McQuack was in that, he, he was a character initially in uh, DuckTales. And back to DuckTales though, that had Scro Uncle Scrooge, he had Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and I love that show. And in fact, I love the, the game as well for Capcom. They released two games for the NES. The second one is more obscure. Uh, Chip and Dale's game is also phenomenal. Another show I really enjoyed was called Goof Troop. This is based off Goofy, who was the main character. He had the son Max, uh, who was a new character in the Disney world. And they moved into next to Pete and a whole bunch of their classic Disney characters. And it was, it was a really popular show as well. They actually made a goofy movie uh, based on it. A lot of these other, all these shows I should mention actually were later on aired on after Disney Afternoon was over with. They had uh, Toon Disney. That was a channel they, they aired a lot of these on. And a lot of these shows are actually available on DVD. In fact, Disney Home Entertainment released a lot of these on DVD in 2005. Unfortunately, they didn't sell very well, so they took them off the market. 
and a lot of the seasons we only have like the first one or two seasons so there's some, a lot of missing episodes so hopefully we can petition and hopefully get some of these shows back because I would love to see some of these again for sure. A show that came out later on in the Disney Afternoon Life was called Gargoyles. It aired from 1994 through 1997 and this was a really dark like show for Disney. I really liked that there were these gargoyles and what's interesting about gargoyles is that a lot of the cast who actually did the voice work for gargoyles were actually Star Trek people. So you have Jonathan Franks, Maria Stratus, so there was a whole bunch of classic, there's like maybe more like maybe a dozen Star Trek uh, actors who were in Star Trek that actually did work for gar Gargoyles and there's a huge petition to try to get this show back at least on DVD. Uh, there's a new comic book series started in 2010 based on Gargoyles uh, but they only lasted for a number of seasons and later on it was on, on Toon Disney so you didn't really see. It was later life, it didn't air in every market unfortunately but I really liked the show personally. Just a couple other shows I do want to mention that were also not on every market that were later on in the life of Disney Afternoon. And we're, we're going to start with these. Are sh all these shows were actually based on classic uh, Disney movies. Well, I shouldn't say classic. They're classic now, but during the time they were very popular. You had Aladdin was a TV series. It went on for a number of seasons. And you had Little Mermaid uh, as well, based on obviously the movie. And a lot of the voice actors who did the actual movie did the voice work for these shows. So the, the lady who did Ariel in Little Mermaid movie, actually did Ariel for, for the TV series. and these, They're really high production. These are very good quality TV shows. You also had Timon and Pumbaa was based on Lion King and that was another series that showed uh, on, on Disney Afternoon as well. I just have a lot of fond memories of Disney Afternoon guys. I just wanted to share with you guys. If you guys remember any of these shows, please provide a comment. Let me know and, and just let's take a trip down memory lane together. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you soon. Take care.